Hi, welcome to video. Today I'm going to be giving you five top tips for any kind of dating app in 2021. Hi, welcome to the video. My name is James Langton. I was on the Tinder top 30 most right swipe list of 2019. And since then, I've been the founder of Data Help, where we basically select and retouch your dating app profile photos and also write your bio. And we also offer dating app coaching via Zoom and everything around this sort of area of dating apps we can help. But anyway, let's get on to the topic of this whole video, which is five dating app tips in 2021. I'm going to keep this really short. So let's get straight into it. And tip number one is use more than one app. It's no crime at all to use more than one app you're allowed to use tinder bumble hinge all of them at the same time it really doesn't matter you'll find that you'll get a lot of matches on one and maybe not so many on the other or you'll find better conversations on one and some better on the other it really doesn't matter if you have to use five ten it doesn't matter just put your same profile in each one just so that there's some consistency there so that you can see whether your profile is the problem or your conversational tips or whatever uh, that's the fundamental tip for a better dating app experience really so yeah don't feel like you have to use one. So tip number two is actually use dating apps for dating. I see so many people that will just download the apps just for the sake of it, just to have a bit of fun, see who finds them attractive. And there's nothing wrong with that, but you're not really gonna be getting any dates. So make sure that you're actually on the apps for the right reason to, to match with people and then speak to them and actually ask them out on a date. Does, if you like somebody and somebody likes you, asking them out on a date should be really easy if the conversation is flowing. And then yeah, just make sure that you're actually asking these people out on a date so tip number three is when you guys actually do go on a date just keep it super light don't go in for a heavy meal or you know something that you've got to spend the whole day together just go on a saturday morning to a coffee shop just something really really light keep it around an hour if you guys meet up and you actually don't like this person there's nothing worse than being sat opposite somebody who you just think i don't even want to be here i don't even want to speak to this person so yeah just keep it super duper light going for a walk take out coffee or sitting in somewhere for a coffee they're all fantastic first date advice and i'll tell you the reason why that you want to keep things like the meal or going to cinema or the traditional kind of dating ideas for another date is because traditionally you would be speaking to the person and you would have already met the person before you asked them on a date obviously with dating apps you've never met this person before so you just want to keep it super light so that you're not uncomfortable or the other person is uncomfortable with meeting and then yeah once you guys have had a first date any normal dating ideas after that uh, they're fine so tip number four is thinking you are too good for dating apps now like some of my other videos I always say this might sound a bit of a strange one but this one is true because you find so many people will go on the dating app and say things like oh I'm only here for fun or oh we'll lie about where we met or, or things like that and I actually think that kind of thing is really outdated everybody's on dating apps these days one in four marriages comes from dating apps and not only that it's kind of like turning up to a job and just saying oh I'm only here because I want something to do in the week rather than that you're wanting to be engaged and learn something and actually you know help build the company if you just say that you're just on there for fun you, you don't really you know you don't really care about it it's going to look like you're super lazy and people are going to think well why should I spend my time trying to speak to this person or potentially meeting for me personally somebody showing a low amount of effort is a real turn off and I can guarantee you I'm not the only person who feels like this and tip number five is add some damn photos you'll see that some dating apps let you add more than 10 photos and link your Instagram as well you want to be doing this don't just have three photos and leave it at that expecting someone amazing is going to come into your life you actually have to put effort into this make Make sure if you're allowed 15 photos or 10 photos or nine, depending which dating app, fill every single one and actually look at the photos before you do and think, is, does this represent me in the way that I want to be represented? Because remember, the people who are seeing your profile on the dating app have no data about you at all other than what you show them. So make sure it's you smiling, doing the activities you enjoy, and I promise you, you'll have better results than just a selfie that you're showing as many chins as possible and you look terrible in. Seriously, front-facing camera selfies, just consider them a no go when it comes to dating apps so i wanted to keep this video really short and that's the end of it now if you guys wanted any help on your dating app profiles so whether it be selecting photos and retouching them or also any kind of dating app coaching feel free to tap on the link in the description to go to the data help website and if you guys could please give this video a like and subscribe because i'm nearly at a thousand subscribers and that'd be amazing for me it'd be a real milestone i'm gonna do something at a thousand subscribers i i don't know i'll do i don't know i'll, I'll do something interesting thanks for watching and i'll see you again